today we are going to be participating in Brittany and Shell's Killers of a Certain Age. Can we read it in eight hours? Read a thon. I've had this book since September because I got it from Book of the Month. So it's been on my TBR several times since then, and I've just never actually read it. So today we're gonna be held accountable and we're gonna fucking read this book. But to start with, Miss L. It's Saturday. It's the first of the month. That means you need to take your heartworm medicine so you don't get heartworms. Let me dump it out on my leg. Um, it's all cut up because she doesn't like them in big pieces. She'll choke on them because she doesn't chew this because this is the medicine you like. You want some medicine? for you. Mm, yummy. Yummy medicine for you. But otherwise, sprints start in like a minute here. So I've timed this perfectly with my breakfast. So I gotta wash my hands because I was touching heartworm meds. But I got some tea going and I got some donuts and some eggs and some sausage going. So we're gonna eat that during the first chatty bit here. But we're gonna read this book today. All right, the wind is picking up, so I might have to close my windows in the next sprint. Cause it looks like it might rain, but I guess we'll see. We had a pretty bad storm come through last night. So during this first sprint, I did have some conversations with my coworkers and whatnot, because um, our office manager is like a mother hen. She likes to make sure we're all okay. And we did have tornado warnings last night. So she was just making sure we're okay, but we got to 35% in this book, 35%, 35 pages, I mean. We're not at 35%, we're not that crazy. But I am liking it so far, so I've just got to through the end of chapter three. So, I knew like they were assassins, but I really wasn't expecting like, you know, murders to be happening like right away. But I'm here for it, I'm here for it. Like, I'm, I'm enjoying my, enjoying it so far. So I guess we'll see what happens here in this next sprint. And the goal is gonna be to get farther because I am a little bit behind, I think, because I was talking to my coworkers and then I did do the dishes. So we're gonna try to catch up here in this sprint. We're starting the next sprint about 20 minutes late here because I had to take Miss El Paddy. You do go outside, huh? And it's very windy. So we ran back inside very quick, very quick. But before that, I got to page 95, which is about 26% through the book now, which is pretty good for two hours in. And then I also started dinner because I'm cooking in a crock pot tonight. So I needed to get everything thrown into the crock pot so that's ready by like seven o'clock-ish. So I got that all. And then after the current sprint is over, I will be making lunch which I have pretty much all of it prepped. I just have to cut up the vegetables yet and cook them. So it shouldn't take too long to cook it. It is gonna run over into the next spur while I'm still cooking, but it's fine, it's fine. We're making good progress, so I'm not too worried. But that's all I have for this update. All right, so I made it to 64% in terms of a certain age. And I will say, general sentiment here, I feel. I don't feel like you really get to know the characters because the book is very fast paced. So I don't think we really know our main characters too well, and we you know very, very little about them really. But it is jumping back and forth in the timeline, so we do get to go back and find out something about them from the past. But are like, I don't know, we're just, we're not, I don't feel like there's a lot of character development, I guess is the word I'm looking for. But right now we're in the kitchen because I am starting to cook lunch. And what I'm having today is fajitas. So I have some onions and peppers. I'm gonna saute over here. Helps if the right burner is on. So we're gonna saute some peppers and then I have chicken going on my George Foreman. Just because I like how it cooks a little bit better on my George Foreman than trying to grill it in a pan. I feel like it cooks faster on the George Foreman, and maybe that's because I can set a timer and forget about it and I don't have to flip it or anything. But I'm only gonna make half of 
my peppers that I usually make because I've learned from several mistakes that I want too many peppers but it will fit my largest pan. So I'll only make half of them with half of my onion and then when I run out of these I can just make the other two peppers and the rest of the onion. But we're also going to make homemade guacamole. So I'm going to do that here at the beginning of this sprint so I don't know how much I'll get red actually in this sprint but we'll see. Right, I finished cooking lunch for the most part. I still have two batches of chicken. I need to cook it on the George Foreman, but I have enough to eat myself. So I made myself some my, my fajitas over here and I got my bowl of guacamole and my, my tortilla chips. So we're gonna eat this. I don't know if I'll get any rain done, but I guess, I guess we'll see here. So I think I forgot to update at the end of the last sprint, but I was at like 70, five percent i think somewhere around there and i just finished it there's about a minute left in this round so i'm gonna try to make this relatively short or one need this just in case so i'm gonna give it three stars i think the pace was too fast and that's a weird thing to say but i don't feel like we got any actual character development in this book because it moved too fast and we didn't get time to like really know our characters so i wasn't I wasn't really vibing with that. I do like double timelines, so that was good. I do like double timelines in books. That is an element I really do like. But it's just the character development wasn't there, so I didn't particularly care about the characters in this book, which is why I'm going to give it three stars. But hey, we accomplished something today. I finished a book for April, and we got a book off my book of the month backlist. So there's that.